Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Morris here bringing guys a brand new video and in this video we're going to be talking about summer nights at Busch Gardens but wait, 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 wait! Summer nights is gone! In the new calendar Busch Gardens released for 2024, summer nights is nowhere to be found. Instead it's a yet to be announced summer event. So there's one thing I had to say. Round of applause! Round of applause, round of applause, round of applause for everyone who made a decision. Summer Nights is gone. Yes! That pop music in my park and our park is gone. So in this video, we're going to talk about a theory and my hopes of what the new summer event is. And then we're going to talk about what I think it's actually probably going to be. I think it was in the old country video. I talked about how summer nights just really feels like an eyesore in the park. The lights are cool, yes. The fireworks are cool, but short. And we'll get to that. But it's just that pop music being thrown around this park that's supposed to look like old Europe. It doesn't It doesn't blend well, it doesn't mesh well. It works just a little bit better at Hallow Scream, but usually that music just a little bit more themed. So at least there's like a central theme and where it kind of fits when you're in Oktoberfest and you're getting like that heavy metal, like that heavy metal version of Smooth Criminal. I'm not gonna lie. I enjoy the heck out of that when they play it. So I think there's times and place, but just like secular pop music, which I love. Like I said in the old video, it's my job. That doesn't mean that I'm gonna like it wherever I see it. I'm a huge Jonas Brothers fan, but if I'm in Germany and I hear Waffle House, it's not gonna sit right with me. It doesn't feel right. So thank goodness that it's gone. I think they heard a lot of the fans talk about, you know, it's a fun time but it doesn't fit the park. And you know you have the concert series, but you can have the same concert series. I don't think there's anything wrong with bringing in artists that they bring in. I think it's really cool, but you can do that with any event. Now, what I would like it to be, and I said it before, but now we're in the devoted video, so I'm gonna say it again, is Alumna Nights. If you don't know what Alumna Nights is, you can find a soundtrack on iTunes or wherever you listen to your music, but it's just basically like Summer Nights, but it was themed specifically to Busch Gardens Williamsburg. And they had their own soundtrack, which are a lot of the songs you hear about the you hear around the park, but just reimagined a little bit. And then there's a song at the end that I call the theme song of Busch Gardens. It's so much fun. You used to hear it like when you were walking in and leaving the park every day. It would be in the like, commercials. It was so awesome. And the fireworks show was better. And it just felt like this was Busch Gardens thing. Not SeaWorld saying that they have it all their other parks that Busch Gardens Williamsburg also has. And that's, a, and that's kind of the crutch. And it's not a bad thing. It's just when you have a parent company like SeaWorld, a lot of your events line up with other parks. So other parks that started to get Hallow Scream, which used to be a, just a Busch Gardens thing. Other parts starting to get like Christmas Town when that was just a Busch Gardens thing. And I understand it. You know, you're you're now part of this bigger business. These ideas have worked for these parks, so they want to add them to the other parks. There's nothing wrong with that. Because you can do Howl Scream anywhere. You shouldn't be able to do summer nights everywhere. It just it just doesn't work. It it will probably work in all your SeaWorld parks, in all your water parks. It would not work in either Busch Gardens, Williamsburg, or Tampa. But Aluna Nights is a very specific one. And I would hope it would be something in that vein. Do I think it will be a Luna Nights exactly? No, because typically with those event type things, you don't want to like go back on something you tried before because that's almost admitting that you messed up with this idea. And this idea was kind of garbage. If you go back to an old one, you're like, oh, that one was better. We should have kept that one. You can do it in right ways, but I don't think they will because that seems like a lot of backpedaling. And the park doesn't seem to want to backpedal. Because there's a difference in what I've talked about restoring the old country. There's a difference between that and backpedaling. And I would admit, if you went straight back to Aluna Nights, that's backpedaling. But I think you can do an event that's basically Aluna Nights 2.0. Call it something new, something fresh. Call it Aluna Nights. I would be fine with that. But I think it'll be a new idea. But I would love to see it be integrated with the park, the music that's already in the park, the scenery in the park. If you want, if they still want to do the lights like they do, that's perfectly fine. I think the lights are sick, though, especially the ones on Griffin, Pompeii, Pantheon. Like, those lights are awesome. So I don't see a problem with it because, you know, it's summer, you want it to feel bright, you want it to feel light, you want it to feel fun. And I would love that the fireworks show would go on longer than three minutes because it was like three minutes the last time. And I recorded it on my phone for the vlog and it was so short, like three to five minutes. And I was like, that was it? Maybe I was being spoiled because a couple weeks before I had just gone to Disney. You have the big happily ever after, which is like 20 minutes long. So, you know, I might've been a little spoiled, but even at my graduation, the fireworks went on for like 15, 20 minutes. So just having like a three to five minute fireworks show at a big park 
Now, I understand it's partly with the Kings Mill residence because you had that whole residential area right there and they had to kind of comply with their curfew time. You know, like neighborhoods have like a loudness volume, like no loudness after this hour, which is why I think it's kind of earlier at 9.15. And I understand why it's at that time because by that time the sun is setting, it's dark. You know, it, it doesn't get dark till very late. So there, there needs to be some happy medium there. Maybe they, instead of 9.15, they started at 9 o'clock. Maybe it's not complete darkness outside yet, but it gives you a longer show. I don't know exactly what they need to do. Do it in different spots where it's not just that one area where you have maybe at least two so you can kind of go back and forth. It gives you more vantage points to see the fireworks. I just would like to see the fireworks on the grandest scale because those are kind of the whole idea of what they based summer nights around was catch the fireworks every Friday, Saturday, Sunday at this time. And, you know, everyone's like, yes, fireworks show. And then three minutes later, it's done. And you're like, that's it? Like, they looked awesome, in the mu and but they didn't change the music either. The music was just the normal music playing in the park, at least where I was. I was in Ireland. And they were playing, I think it was I'm Good by B.B. Rexa and David Guetta. So I would just love to see a longer, more centralized fireworks show where the focus is on the fireworks that's what i would like to see something that's themed to europe something that takes the classic music and re-themes it and just you know spices it up a little bit keep the lights extend the fireworks show what do i think it'll be i think it might just be a rebrand of summer nights i hope not i hope i'm wrong i hope i'm wrong but i think it might just be summer nights 2.0 with just the smallest the smallest change so they can say it's a brand new event when really it's not. It might be the same way. And it's not like a terrible thing. It's not a, it's not a bad event. It's just like what I said. It just doesn't fit. I don't mind it if they keep a similar type of event. I think it's fun. It gets a lot of more of the teenagers, the young adults in, like me. And the people that aren't diehard fans that want to hear the classical music. I think it does bring a lot of them in. So I understand where they're coming from. But I also feel a certain way about Bush Gardens and their theming. And I would like to see something brand new and kind of take at least the DNA and the blueprint of what Illumina Nights laid out and then build upon that and make it even better than it was before. I think, think it might just be Summer Nights 2.0 with the smallest, the smallest change are like, hey, we're doing this differently. And if it's, and to my, and to me, the smallest change could be an extended fireworks show. Take my money. You'll make me happy with that. You can keep the music. If you just extend the fireworks show, I'll take it because it's such a beautiful place to watch fireworks, especially if you're on the Ryan River Bridge. I watched them from that one time. Absolutely astonishing to look at them from there. So I would hope that maybe it could just be a longer show. If at, at the smallest, at the least, I think that's what it could be. We'll find out next year, but summer nights has come to an end, both at Bush Gardens and in general, because it's almost fall. Like, how is it almost fall? This year has flown by, but I'm excited because fall is my favorite season of the year where you get Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, football. It's just the best time for everything. Let's see how it goes. And uh, let's, uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below about what this new summer event could be. Do you agree that maybe they should bring back an Luna Nights type event? Did you like Summer Nights and are you sad to see it go? Let me know down in the comments. Make sure to subscribe and already make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Make sure to stream my new song, Feel Alive, wherever you listen to your music. Go Also, go watch my live performance of the album. I love that video so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Will Morris, and I'm out. Peace. Baby, I'm gonna take you for a ride. I promise to make you